Now to delve deeper into Istanbul Biennial and of course the 2019 edition, director Bige Örer joins me. Thank you so much for Thank hosting you. us here today, Bige. So let's talk about Istanbul Biennial's general position and your general mission. Because in the third biennial, you released the manifesto years ago, uh, saying that it was your aim to introduce local artists to a wider international audience. I'm guessing it changed over the course of the years, didn't it? I mean, basically, the main objectives of the biennial is to create a space for artistic excellence and um, debate, public debate and discussion. And I think the Istanbul Biennial has introduced many artists from Turkey to the international scene. And we're also still very happy to collaborate with many artists from Turkey in this biennial. Um, we have eight artists um, whom we invited from Turkey and um, we think that it's always important to uh, create the, the space to um, bring together the local context and the international context and contribute to the uh, discussions on contemporary art. Mm -hmm. And it has also, um, I can also add that uh, the Istanbul Biennial has acted also as a learning uh, space for many um, artists, for many curators, art students, and also for art lovers. So. Uh, we're also trying to develop um, further programs in order to um, in order to create this uh, learning um, platform. Mm -hmm. I mean, as I understand, you started with a local perspective years ago in the first biennials, but now you have a more comparably at least mm -hmm. a more mm -hmm. universal uh, role, or at least you're claiming a more universal role. Looking at the choice of the curator this year, for example, mm -hmm. Nicola Brio. Tell us why you chose them for this year. I mean, uh, Nicola Burio is, a, is one of the greatest thinkers, I think. Um, uh, he has been contributing to contemporary uh, art world um, with his books. He has, uh, he has developed this concept on relational aesthetics in 1990s, which has been discussed over and over the years. And he's... Um, at the same time creating you know really important um, thought-provoking international large-scale exhibitions but also writing um, many books and texts which we think that is important to contribute also to the intellectual discussions so um, I mean the proposal that Nicola Burio had made to the advisory board of the Istanbul biennial was um, what was the strongest um, proposal for this edition, so that's why we have in, uh, invited him. And some people say that, uh, I mean, some people criticize this uh, edition of the biennial saying that it doesn't dig deep enough into the Turkish context. Do you feel like it's, it lacks a sense of locality or was that your aim from the very beginning? Not at all. I think, um, I mean, we have been working on this theme, um, the seventh continent, which makes reference to the accumulation of the plastic waste on Pacific Oceans. And there are um, many artists who are dealing with, uh, with the relationship between um, art and ecology, the Anthropocene, the human age, and how humans have also uh, um, affected non-humans and how we have been living in a human-centered world and it, that um, created a lot of inequalities and uh, um, and um, you know how it has also affected animals and plants and uh, other species uh, and I think thinking about um, the context the local context but also the international context context the climate crisis is uh, is here just in front of us and I don't think that we can really differentiate it and it's also uh, it's relevant for the international context but it's also um, very important and urgent and I think this exhibition hopefully will raise awareness about all these ecological issues and invite everyone to take actions and do you think and uh, what role do you think can Istanbul Biennial play in the sociopolitical balances in Turkey or do you believe that it has to play any role at all? I think um, basically making art and working in the art field is a political action itself um, and, um, and art has a transformative power. 
but I mean, it has a different language. It has a different language than politics. It has a different language than, you know, um, than science. And um, and I think we just need to leave ourselves to artists who are uh, also um, like seeing things from a totally different perspective. Mm -hmm. And um, one last question before we wrap up. I wonder, as you're the director of the Biennial, what achievement would make you feel accomplished this year? What are you expecting from the Biennial? Is it half a million visitors or what kind of an achievement are you after? I mean, I think, uh, of course, reaching out to a wider audience is very important because we have been working on this biennial for more than two years with the involvement of artists, but also people from other disciplines, uh, you know, with a great team. Um, and we hope that um, this exhibition will be able to reach um, many people and not only many people, but uh, it will also create um, curiosity and awareness, and it will also um, maybe change their, you know, their world, their perception of the world. And that would be one of the, of course, objectives. And then uh, I, I would be very uh, happy if the biennial is able to create this space. Um, for public, you know, public space and uh, space for discussion and debate and contribute to the ongoing, um, ongoing discussion platforms. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope it manages to do all that. Thank you so much, Bigger. Our pleasure to have you on our show. Thank you.